Welcome back here to Florence, South Carolina. Jace Andrews and Scott Updike with you here tonight. Blake Shepardson is back on the mound as he gets into his second inning of work. It's a 2-2 ball game here. And the Sharks looking to get their first lead of the game if they can push a run across here. In this inning, Shepardson will see four, five, and six, the middle of the order, Mason Landers, Scott Bandura, and Jordan Medina. A couple of singles through those three. Landers, though, has reached. And actually, it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter here. As it'll be Wyatt Crenshaw who will take his first AB pinch hitting for Mason Landers. First pitch to him is up high for ball one. Crenshaw. He's got a 260 average with a 651 OPS. And he scored 21 times this year with five doubles. That's another ball. It's 2 0. Pitch from Shep. That's in there, the fastball. 91 miles an hour on the gun. It's 2 1. Well, Landers. Did get hit in the head back in the first inning. Cutting a miss there from Crenshaw. But he did have another A-B after that in the third. So interesting he's getting taken out now if that is the reason getting hit. That's bounced a chopper to the third base. But Maddox fires to first. It's in time and there's one gone in the top of the fifth. That'll be Scott Bandura. Four, Scott Bandura. 0 for 2 with a strikeout on his last time up. <laughs> Looks to bunt, pulls back, takes a strike. If you're just joining us, two to two, our score here on the top of the fifth. Flamingos put two runs on the board in the bottom of the first, and then one run in both the top of the third and top of the fourth for the Sharks. Oh, one pitch is outside, and it goes to one and one now. Blake Shepardson working here in his second inning of work. One one. Almost gets the batter Bendura, who has to spin out of the way and kind of. Heads down the first baseline momentarily. Two balls and one strike now. Two one pitch is a little low. It'll be three and one. Mandura playing left field tonight for the Sharks and still looking to reach safely for the first time tonight. Hard on the ground, third baseline, it's foul. Man, he shot that off the bat, but it doesn't stay fair, according to the third base umpire, Robert Hemingway, who I think correctly called that one foul. Count is now full. Scott Bandura playing in the CPL here this summer, but he was actually playing in the Little League World Series, I guess eight years ago now, back in 2014. He made it all the way to the USA semifinals. 3-2 pitch is a swing and a miss. Strike three as Bandura goes down swinging for the second time tonight. And there's two gone here in the top of the fifth for Blake Shepardson. Jordan Medina now steps up, one for two on the night, a single and a ground out. He's the catcher for the Sharks this evening. First pitch to him is low, and it's ball one. Now, although Medina is catcher tonight, he has been known to be slotted in the DH role sometimes. 1-0 is a fastball taken at the bottom of the zone for a strike. And 
Dina goes to Colorado Christian where he plays his college ball. 1-1, one, one, a cut and a miss, strike two. Fooled him on that pitch. Medina was actually on the 2018 Baseball America Top College Freshman Watch List. One, two. Fastball taken for strike three. And Blake Shepardson strikes out two here in the top of the fifth. Flamingos look to break the tie here. Coming up in the bottom half of the fifth. Tie ball game here in the bottom of the fifth as the Flamingos and the Sharks battle it out here in Florence, South Carolina. Jace Andrews and Scout Updike here with you tonight. The sitting for the Flamingos, it'll be two, three, and four. South Trimble, Will Hardy, and Todd Maddox to face Joe Cobb, who is out for now his fifth inning of work. And he's getting a little high in the pitch count. I can see two blue jerseys in the Sharks bullpen just kind of tossing a ball around, not really getting warmed up. See if that'll change if the Flamingos can get something going here in the fifth. First pitch to south is taken away, and it's ball one. South tonight is one for two, singled and scored in the first, and they reached on an error in the second. Joe Cobb steps off the mound there. You probably can't see the signs. Right now, the lighting is kind of getting weird. You can kind of notice it on your screen there, but the lights seem to shine a bit oddly here at Carolina Bank sometimes. Oh, yeah, definitely with the LEDs. They're very, uh, the shadows are very bad. Well, and the sun sets to the, I guess, first base line of the stadium, which can create some awkward shadows at times, too. Joe Cobb from the windup, the 1 0. That's up high, and it's 2 0. Fastball there, 88 miles an hour. South plays his college ball at George Mason. He's one of three Flamingos. He's the only one left, though, as I mentioned that both of his George Mason teammates here in the Flamingos have departed the team since. Fastball taken at the plate for a strike, catches the top part of the zone. Now, Scout this last year at George Mason at a 327 average with 25 stolen bases. Got some speed, 2-1. That'll be bounced on the ground to the first baseman. Landers gobbles it up, throw to the pitcher who's covering. It's not in time. And South will reach. So it's an infield single for Trimble there. And then I'll bring up Will Hardy, who is also one for two on the evening. He singled in the first, and he also has a stolen base. Lingo's looking to break this tie here in the bottom of the fifth inning. First pitch to Will Hardy is in there. According to the home plate umpire, Julius Green, it catches the bottom outside corner. South at first, I mentioned how many stolen bases he had at George Mason. Pickoff attempt and South takes off for second base. Throw to first and now to second. It's in time, South picked off by the pitcher, Joe Cobb. Well, that unfortunately breaks it there as you had that leadoff runner on and now you have nobody on and one gone with a no ball one strike count here to Will Hardy. He'll line that one left field and it'll be foul into the bullpen as a couple of sharks over there had to kind of get out of the way. It almost got him in the back though. No balls and two strikes now. No two, up high, ball one. 
Will Hardy is the lone returning Flamingo slash Red Wolf. Obviously, the Flamingos in their first season here, first full season of being the Flamingos during the rebrand. But he was the only Flamingo until just recently to be joining the team. That's up high, and it's two and two. Now we have Todd Maddox, who recently joined just a couple weeks ago. He actually played with the Red Wolf slash Flamingos last year. Maddox is standing on deck right now. Would love to come up to bat with Will Hardy on the base path somewhere. 2-2 two -two pitch. And that is going to be in and out of the glove. It was not tipped by Hardy. He's running to first, and the throw by the catcher Medina does put out Hardy. If he would have ran right away, but I don't think he realized that the ball had gone out of the glove of Medina. Either way, though, it's a strikeout, and there's two gone for the Flamingos now. Maddox is 0 for 2 with a pop out and a fly out tonight. That pitch is taken at the plate for strike one. Maddox in the four slot tonight. He's playing third base. That's where he's been pretty much since he's arrived here in Florence. 0-1 as a way high fastball that gets away from the catcher. And it evens up the count now. One ball, one strike. Pitch to Maddox. It's way up high. Breaking pitch there gets away from the pitcher cop. Maddox, one of the three Francis Marion players to be on this team, alongside Will Hardy and Tanner Wakefield, who are both in the lineup tonight. 2-1. Way up high again, and it's 3-1. So three straight pitches where the catcher Medina has had to lunge in the air to save the pitch from reaching the backstop. I'm sure Maddox here would take another one of those and reach first on the base on balls. Franco stands on deck. 3-1. Cut and a miss, fastball, and Maddox was behind it. This past year, Maddox, a 393 average with two bombs at FMU. Full count. Cut and a miss, high fastball, got Maddox to go. And the Flamingos, after the leadoff single, end up only bringing three batters to the plate as South Trimble gets picked off. We go to the sixth inning, tied at two. 